Hi. Well, I'm grateful to have been given the opportunity by Miss Davison to uh, speak to you today about the mine workers' strike of 1984. This was uh, a really significant point, not just for the mine workers, but for all workers um, in terms of the number of people who are in unions today, the number of people who um, would fight for uh, wage increases and national minimum wages and all those sorts of things. Um, all those are really shaped by what happened in the 70s and 80s. And as I was around uh, at the time, I've been allowed to speak to you about this. Well, the first thing, uh, and, and we all know how Miss Davison likes the first thing, that uh, in the 1970s, uh, a number of workers' groups, like car workers, like miners, by teachers even, they decided to take industrial action. The car workers just decided to leave the assembly line on which they were working, go out in the field and have a show of hands and decide to go on strike. And then say, well, we'll only come back if you give us a 25% increase in pay. Well, they got it. The miners watched and thought, hang on a minute, we do a dangerous job. They don't do a dangerous job. No, oh, why don't we go out on strike? Yes, we'll go out on strike. We'll get 26%. And they get 26%. I mean, those are just uh, an illustration, roughly, of what was going on. Teachers, teachers got a 33% raise one year and the only reason why they got that was because for three years these car workers had been getting 25% uh, and the uh, teachers hadn't been getting anything so 33% was catch up. You don't get that today. When you listen to the news, people get 1%, 3%, but they don't get 20%. But that's how it was then. And workers coming out on strike could actually lead almost to holding the uh, company, uh, the production line, just to uh, really blackmail give us more money or we'll stay out. Well, that's how it was in the 70s. At the end of the 70s, however, there was to be a change, a surprise change. In the 1979 election, Margaret Thatcher, who was leader of the Conservatives, surprisingly won the 1979 election. She did so with only a small majority and that small majority was sufficient to see her introduce uh, the first part of her strategy to take away some of this power that the unions thought they had. What she did was she said to people we are only going to run industries that are profitable. And there were many manufacturing companies that were not running particularly efficiently and where there was intermittent industrial action between the, the workers and the 
the orders. At the end of three years, she had allowed two and a half million people to become unemployed. She didn't make them unemployed, but the strategy that she adopted meant the companies had done that. So, what do you do if you're in work? Do you actually go to your bosses and say, we must have a pay rise? Do you go and say, well, um, if you close this down, we're going to go on strike? No, you don't say those things because you don't want to be unemployed. So, what do we find happening? That the number of strikes was reduced and the pay rises became smaller. That's part one of what Thatcher was about. In 1982, Margaret Thatcher successfully led the country through a war, well, let's call it a conflict, with Argentina about the Falkland Islands. You don't need to know any more about that other than she led the country and we won the conflict. So what happens? She goes to the country. She's been in control for three years but she wants to be in for the next five and there's a very good chance she'll have the country behind her. And she did. She got it into power with a large majority. No surprise this year, this time around, um, as there had been in 79. And Margaret Thatcher then sets about that the battle with the miners was going to make and break the and so what you get is Margaret Thatcher getting and using a strategy to stop these strikes altogether almost and to take on uh, one of the people who constantly said you will not close down the miners, mining industry. We will fight you. And that's the, what was said by, well, you probably know, Arthur Scargill, the National Union of Mine Workers. Both Margaret Thatcher and Arthur were very much, um, how can we say it, feisty at the very least. They were out to win a battle and it, it was a battle and uh, the people who were in the firing line were the actual mine workers and their families. They got paid a wage by the National Union of the Miners to go out on strike but that only lasted for so long because there was only so much in the union funds and then the workers found themselves with starving families. There was all sorts of uh, clashes with the police um, between men, those who said I'm going back to work and those who uh, call them black legs letting down the union. Um, but in the early parts of 1985, the men started all drifting back to work. Margaret Thatcher's strategy of a war of attrition. No negotiation with the mine workers at all. Just hanging on until the miners went back to work. That was a strategy and it worked. It had a consequence for the mining industry. It was denationalised 
and in the hands of private uh, owners who would run the uh, colliery only if, the, if it made money. Uh, coal was imported into this country and that drove down the, the cost of uh, coal. The uh, areas where there had been people out on strike and people not out on strike, there was still sort of a, a lot of tension between those particular places. Um, and there was a, over a 20 year period, the number of the mines in the country had been reduced from 170 down to low, very low figures. Uh, by the time it was 2013, I think there was only only about half a dozen left in, left in the country. It it's not. Don't worry about the figures. What is important is what basically happened, and it was an acceleration and decline of the whole of the mining industry. And in the bigger sense it was the end of the walk out from work because you weren't satisfied didn't find something particularly satisfactory there was no easy way to start um, a strike you couldn't just walk out in on the field anymore you had to fill in pieces of paper you had to give six to nine mo uh, weeks notice um, it was really complicated because Thatcher had followed up really with the new legislation which she easily got through because she had a big um, support in the Commons and that was we will not pay you big wages anymore, we won't be held to ransom, the government is in control and it will run the country, the workers will not. And uh, obviously that uh, probably is a blow for the power of the people. And we have now see very few strikes and we don't see the walkouts. And uh, that tells its own story.